Welcome to HTML5 Tutorial 4, Formatting and Images. In this video we'll be looking at how we can format the text on our web page as well as how we can add images to our web page. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. HTML supports all of the common formatting options for text that you would find in other text processing software. The common ones that we'll have a look at is turning text bold or strong, writing in italics or sometimes known as emphasized, using underlines or sometimes known as inserted. We can also use functionalities like strike through, subscript, superscript and highlighted text. The tags we use for all of these formatting operations is fairly intuitive. Like with most other tags in HTML, they must be opened and closed surrounding the text you want to format. We have the B tag to turn text bold. We also have the strong tag which may appear to do uh, the same thing as the bold tag. However, search engines like Google Use the strong tags for search keywords for your site. I'll talk more about the strong tag in another video on search engine optimization. The other tags are just as intuitive with I or M for italics, U or INS for underline, S or DEL for strike through, SUB for subscript, and SUP for superscript, and finally MARK for highlighting sections of text. Line breaks. Line breaks are an important tag to know about when working with HTML. You'll notice that HTML ignores any extra spaces or new lines in your code file. The only way to get your information to spread out down your page is to put each chunk of information in a new paragraph, which can be quite troublesome. This is where the line break tag comes in handy. We insert the line break tag called BR to tell the browser to break the line here and continue the text on the next line. You may notice that we have a forward slash at the end of the tag. This is called a self-closing tag. Because this tag requires no other information than just being in the code, we can shortcut to close itself once it's done breaking the line. Okay, let's try adding some formatting to our HTML document from last tutorial. Okay, so I'll come across to our folder again, and we're going to right click and open up our index in Notepad++. Okay, so let's add some formatting in. So we'll go uh, for our links. We'll add in a, a short, a small heading. We'll do a H2 heading, and we'll call it formatting. And then we'll close off our H2. Okay, now let's start uh, putting in some some formatting. So we'll put it into a paragraph. Close off our paragraph. And inside of our paragraph, we'll do some bold text first. So the B tag, and we'll do this text is bold. And then we'll close off our B tag. Now we're going to do our line break. So we're going to open up our angle braces, BR space forward slash, and then our closing angle brace. And this will move it down to the next line. Okay, so let's do I for italics. We'll do this is italic text and we'll close off the I tag and we'll put another line break. Now we'll do the underline. So U for underline. U and we'll do this is underlined text and we'll close off our U tag. We'll do our br forward slash close and we'll do some strike through. So s for strike through. This is strike through text and then we'll close off our s tag. We'll do our br again. Now let's do some highlighting. So we'll do uh, mark. And we're going to mark, we'll do this is highlighted text. And we'll slash mark to close our mark tag. We'll do one more BR to go down to the next line. And we'll we'll uh, use the super tag. So we'll do this value is squared. Oops. Squared. And we'll do three. Open up our tag. Sup for super. 
close the tag, oh, well, close the opening tag to, and then we'll do our closing super tag, so slash sub. All right, now we can save this and we can have a look at it. So we'll come over to our folder and open it up. And we've got our formatting here. We've got our formatting title, and then we've got our bold text. We've got our italic text, our underlined text, our strike through text, our marked text, and we've also got this value is squared three to the power two. Cool. Adding images to our web page is a relatively easy task. To add an image to our page, we use the IMG tag. Images are a powerful tool for websites. They allow us to provide photos of a product, custom buttons, or just plain art that can capture the attention of visitors. Many different image formats can be used by browsers these days, such as JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, and many more. The syntax for the image tag is as follows. First, we open up the tag, then we set the attribute SRC or source to the image URL, either on our website or on the internet somewhere. We then close the tag and we can even use a self closing tag here. The source attribute isn't the only attribute available to us with the image tag. We can also set alternative text that will show if the mouse is hovered over the image or read out for text to speech. The width attribute is for setting the width of the image the height attribute is for setting the height of the image. The width and height can be smaller, larger, or the same size as the image, and the browser will scale the image to fit. It's recommended to always set the width and height to avoid flickering when the image is loaded into the browser. Okay, so let's add an image to our web page just to test it out. We'll create a folder in our project uh, folder called images, and hold that'll hold all of our image files. Okay, so I'll come over here. Okay, so we come back to our folder here, and we're going to create a folder called images. Okay, now inside of our images, we're going to put our image files. So I've got an image file currently on my clipboard, so I'm going to paste that here. And that's just my YouTube logo, so I'm going to just rename that to test, oops, test.png. Okay, so we'll come back to our web page here, and we'll open up in Notepad++. And we'll add a, another heading down here. So we'll do another H2 tag and we'll call it images forward slash H2. Okay. So now let's put our image in here. So what we can do is we open up our image tag and we're going to give it the source attribute. And that's going to equal our images folder. Oops. Images forward slash and then the file name, so test.png. All right, so now we're gonna set the width and height, so width equals, and because I don't know the width off by heart, I can come over to my images folder, click on it down, uh, click on it, and Windows will tell me the dimensions, so it's 854 by 480. So we'll do 854, and we'll also do the height by 480. All right, and we can do our self-closing tag. Cool, so that's how image is done, or our image done. But what we can do is we can copy this, and we can show off that we can set its height to whatever we want it to be. So let's say we want it to be about half. So we'll do 4... 426, 427, and we'll do 240. All right, we can save this, and we can go back to our document, run it, and as we scroll down, we get our images. So we've got a massive image here, and then we've scaled it down, and we've got a smaller image below. So I'm not too happy with this really big one, so I'm going to come back to my uh, document here, and I'm just going to remove that line and leave the smaller version in. All right, so we can now come back and we can refresh this, and as you see, it's much smaller. All right, cool. Image links. Just like how we turn text into hyperlinks to other pages in the previous tutorial, we can also do the same thing to images. To turn an image into a link, 
we just surround the image tag with the A tag. This will make our image clickable and act like a normal link would. So let's quickly turn our image on our page into a Google link. All right, so we'll come back over to our editing here. Now around our image, we're going to put an A tag. So A href equals, and then we want HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. And we'll close off our href and we'll close off our tag. And now what we'll do is we'll just indent our image so we know that it's part of the A tag. And we'll go down to the next line. So we're going to come down to the next line and we're going to close off our A tag. So we've surrounded the image tag with our A tag. And now if we come back over to our web browser, we can refresh this. And now we see that our mouse changes into a clickable link when we look anywhere on this on this image. If we click it, it'll take us to the Google page. So there we go. And come back and it works just like the a normal link would. So anywhere on side the on the image you can click and it will take us to that link. Cool. So this concludes our tutorial on formatting and images. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer as best as possible. The next topic we'll be looking at is the head and some basic styling. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.